then it's, yeah, he's like, it's a late night raunchy show, and that's just like not me. This is, like I said, this is the hottest outfit I own. I'm usually wearing a lot of mom jeans, and I look like I'm about to try and sell you essential oils. <laughs> like I'm about to try and sell your girlfriend some, like, I don't know, weight loss supplement or something. Yeah, I just way too much, and all I do is talk about my plants. Yeah! yeah. And, yeah, it's a bitch. And I, but I can relate to it because I'm giving it all the love that it asked for, but it's still jealous of all the happiness around it. Yeah. yeah. And I really only have the plants because I like a very living background for my nudes. <laughs> Please subscribe to my only ferns. Like it sounds like something a Scotsman would yell as he goes into battle, you know? That's what we were Which is kind of ironic because Scottish people always sound like they just got done sucking a dick and they can still kind of taste it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry, love. I had a little wee bit of coke in my mouth. I can still kind of taste it now. Tip that till it's over and let's get back at it. That's why they're wearing the kilts. Easier access to each other's dicks. <laughs> I didn't know what a glory hole was until it broke up my twin sister's first marriage. <laughs> yeah, and all came together after that. Let's unpack that for a second. I have a twin sister. <laughs> yup, two of these. Around his apartment 
uh, when there's condoms hidden in every nook and cranny. Right? <laughs> yes. Exactly. So I've hidden it in like the couch crevices and like in the coffee pot and just like all over the apartment. All right. It's like an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> I need you to find those eggs so that you can't find these eggs. <laughs> jerseys, guys. No. I had a light man. I also screwed a lot of strangers this year. It was awesome. That was probably way more fun before the pandemic, but god damn, was it kind of fun during the pandemic too? Oh my gosh, I met my hot neighbor. Yeah. We hooked up for a couple weeks, and then I started hooking up with his roommate. Yeah. Yeah. They're before, but then had to discover it together. <laughs> Where's my coin? <laughs> if I didn't have a coin, it would be worth like 69 cents or something at least. <laughs> that was a cheap one, sorry. <laughs> no, I had a really good time. Uh, I knew that I was like coming to the cusp of my, my horny year uh, when Bridgerton came out. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. So yeah, just quick quick clap of hands. Who likes and has seen Bridgerton? Yeah. I love that show so much. It's like 50 Shades of Grey but with more top hats. Yes. I love it. And I love it because all the women do on that show is dress up, have brunch, and wait for gentlemen to come to bed. <laughs> and that's my new dream, but I wonder if that makes me a bad feminist? <laughs> Probably. But still, oh my gosh, you guys, it's great. My favorite scene is like right after they get married, uh, because she's not sure if he likes her or not. And I can relate to that. Like She's like, oh, we just got married. Like, do you even like me? <laughs> and he's like, I burn for you. That's so romantic. That's so hot, right? I want somebody to say that to me without following up with, you should get tested about that. <laughs> I need the bird to come from here. Not here. Speaking of where the bird's coming from, I do have a rash right now. <laughs> it's a real fucking bummer. And it's not for anything like fun, it's because I bought cheap laundry detergent. <laughs> I did a whole laundry day where I washed my bedding and I washed my underwear and I washed my tight pants and I washed my lingerie uh, and like now I just have this rash everywhere that clothes are tight. <laughs> when you're trying to fuck, <laughs> the things you want men to touch are where clothes are tight. <laughs> so like right here and right here. Okay, I'm having a real issue with it. I'm not very proud of it. Um, it's it's kind of receding. It's it's going pretty okay. Um, <laughs> but I really, I like it's still kind of there, but it's like dry and scaly. Like I feel like a human loofah. <laughs> like I feel like I'm like exfoliating his dead skin while we're doing foreplay. <laughs> the other night he was eating me out, and I shit you not, he paused to use my rash to itch his face a little. <laughs> Fortune of dating an entrepreneur. <laughs> like a guy who's like always about to start his empire. <laughs> yeah, like, yes! This girl's like, like, we're about to release. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, just that one. Uh, no, like, you know, he was like sharing, like, they always share like screenshots of their stocks, like on their Instagram story. Like, <laughs> Like, he used an app, he didn't do anything special that day, but they're free. No, like, the kind of guys that were, like, saying shit like, if you didn't learn how to hustle in 2020, you didn't do it right. And, like, like I said, I got way better at sex during 2020. That's a different type of hustling. But, I don't know, I'm just really not all about the kind of guy who's, like, into the rise and grind if he can't even rise. <laughs> I tried to hook up 
for a while with a very specific entrepreneurial type. Uh, and he was just that kind of douchebag. And I found out once that he hooked up with my twin sister in college. Yeah. It was like eight years ago, like water under the bridge, but it's the way he told me while my hand was actively on his penis. <laughs> Bad timing, for sure. I don't want to feel like I'm reaching through space and time through the mutual dick to communicate with her. I don't need that. No. And he used to do this thing when he wanted to have sex, where uh, he would just uh, take my hand and tenderly put it on his dick. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, I'm not Helen Keller. I know where I'm <laughs> Nope, that's really all I have for you tonight. You guys look so awesome. Thank 